which God has given to the sons of men to be exercised in it. So I stop it today in this Pentecostal day to ask the question, have you exercised today? Now when we do the physical exercise and you do your little pump up and your little sit ups and your little, uh, your little pumps and little run and all that good stuff that you do to get that body into shape and, and, and the Bible say body exercise profit is nothing, amen? And so you start doing the, all that, that building and you have allowed uh, some of that chicken to now become turkey and now it's like overgrown in your stomach area and you have too much, a little bit of weight here and too much going in different areas and, and you find yourself now all of a sudden going to go to a gym that you will spend uh, some money for and then you start going the first week and then all of a sudden your legs start tightening up and, uh, and then all of a sudden you don't want to go there no more because you're now coming home with pains because you have not exercised enough. And that's how it is with the body of Christ. We, we start uh, facing stuff, stuff. We start wondering why trials and tribulation is hitting us because we are not exercising our prayer life. Our, our fasting life is not even fast no more. We don't seek the face of God like we used to no more. We don't pray like we used to. And so we find ourselves being tired so much in the body of Christ. And then we start coming to church and we where is the people? Ah, we wondering where is this person and this person is because you didn't exercise and you become tired in worship. Ah, stop praise and worship and lift your hands in the presence of God. And you don't want to lift your hands because you are so tired because you don't really want to exercise your faith. You don't really want to shake the face of God like you should. Come on. And then all of a sudden they say, lay pastry before God. Do you know that's one of your push up? Come on. If you lay pastry
Hallelujah. I understand that here goes Ecclesiastes. All right. Ecclesiastes said there is nothing new under the sun. Yes. All through the book of Ecclesiastes, it talks about problems of life. Okay. It begins to talk about vanity and man and limits and how we need to keep the commands of God. It tells us how to enjoy life and talks about wisdom and talks about a time and a season. And then it always talks about things that are under the sun. You have to understand that you have to release your faith in order for God to work. Because God said, I work with now faith. And it's impossible to please him without faith. And here it is, uh, to everything there is a season. Right. Understand in your life that there is some folks that came in your life for season, reason, and lifetime. Look at your neighbor and say, some things in your life for season, some things in your life for reason, and some things in your life for lifetime. Come on up and hear somebody. Because understand, because so, the Bible says that it's a time and a season 